Did you know that there's actually a way of figuring out which hair color and hair cut will look best on you based off of your astrology sign? I know, me too, except that's bullshit and not true at all. But today, I will be here to be the leader in creating a way of you figuring out which haircut. I don't know. Basically, I'm just gonna go through each astrology sign, name some characteristics of that sign, and then decide which haircut and which hair color I think would look best on you. Sound like a plan? Let's do it. Aries. Aries is out there? What's up? Aries are known to be ambitious. You're brave. You're not afraid of sh and you don't take sh and you're optimistic about the world. You're just like, hi, I'm ready for it. Let's do it. You're bold as shit, but you're also reckless. You can be a little selfish and a little short-tempered, and that's okay, I understand. You can be a little intolerable about certain things. You really want your way, or get the f out. It's giving me a lot of red. It's giving me copper. It's giving me a wine color, a berry color. I need a bold color on you. It needs to be strong. It needs to be sexy and it needs to feel bold and independent. I want an edgy haircut on you. I want something crisp. I want something clean. I don't want it too shaggy. I don't want it too layered. I want something that's like, uh, bah, bah, bah. you know what I mean? Like we're going to do like a bob. We're going to do a, a longer bob. We're going to do some bangs, but everything needs to be like cutthroat, a cut a bit bob, you know what I mean? Like, let's just get that thing in there. I want your haircut and I want your hair color to be as bold as you. And when it comes to styling your hair, I'm getting a, a vibe of straight hair. I feel like you need a nice flat iron, just crisp. I want it clean, I want the lines, I want the symmetry. I just want it to all come together and be this magnificent, like, of hair in front of me. And it doesn't have to be red, red. It feels like there needs to be a lot of warmth in your hair. A lot of that fieriness should come out in your hair. Tortoises. I mean, Taurus. You're intelligent. You're hardworking. You're dedicated. And you can definitely be stubborn at times, but it's like kind of cute a little bit. You're a true force to be reckoned with. Your ambition is just out of this world. And you enjoy things that are luxurious and cozy. You're also though not fond of authority. You're a perfectionist and you're very set in your ways. Your color is giving me platinum blonde because you want to put that hard work into your hair too. You're like, it's okay. I can be at the salon every four to six weeks to touch up my roots. I can do it. <laughs> Don't worry. You're like blonde. You're platinum, baby. You're icy white. Woo. Your hair is healthy. It's giving long and just full. It's giving extensions. I'm seeing you have a lot of thick, nice hair, but it's not actually your hair because again, you're willing to put in the work and the money that costs. I'm picturing a nicely layered color cut. Everything is flawless though. You have the curtain bangs, but the curtain bangs are like, whoosh. I've never seen anything so perfect in my life type of bangs. And it is looking clean, free of dead ends, and it is shiny. Or you have some tight curls. It is big. It is giving rounded. It is giving a boom, impactful, or even super wavy. You style it with a loose beach wave, but the beach wave can never be frizzy. Your hair is always kept pristine. Gemini. You're extroverted. You want to be out there. You want to be talking to people. You want to be meeting new people. There is literally never a boring moment when you're around Mr. or Mrs. Gemini. You're flexible though. You're like, you want me over here? I <laughs> got it. You want me over here? We can do that. I'll figure it out. You're enthusiastic, you're entertaining, and you make a damn good friend. However, you can definitely be a little indecisive, can't quite make a decision, and you're a little impulsive and unreliable. Oof. Those are tough ones. Let's work on that, you know? And based off of that, I'm getting a clear vision already. Oh, oh, I am getting it. You have rainbow hair. Like you just want to stand out of the crowd. You want something that is multicolored. And when you walk into a party, you want to be the first thing that people look at. Your haircut's giving edgy. There's something going on there. It's an asymmetrical cut. There's all kinds of sh going on. You got a bang going this way. You got this going that way. It's a bowl cut. No, it's a mohawk. No, it's a... A mullet? Whatever it is, it's attention grabbing and it's iconic. And it just screams, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Cancer, we're on to you. This is your time. You can pick up energy wherever you go. You can feel the vibes. You, bad energy. You, good energy. You, leave my sight. You're a great listener and you give good advice. Whew, that's a 
fire combo. I need one of you in my life. But you love a night in. Nothing sounds better to you than just cozying up on the couch with a nice soft blanket, watching some TV, something chill, I don't know. You wanna stay in. You can be known to avoid conflict, which I get. You definitely need your time also to recharge your battery and you can be a little distant because of that. It's giving me very ash toned, cool color. It's giving blue, it's giving gray, it's giving silver. It's giving that kind of gunmetal metallic colors. Like I want something fierce on you. I want something, ugh. stay away from me, but also come near me and let's talk. But also stay away because I want to be alone a little bit. But your hair is giving me easy going. It's giving me long. It's giving me a little bit of like need to get a haircut, a little too long type of vibes, but still it's looking effortless. It's looking cool. And the style is whatever you wake up with. It's kind of just the chill, messy, but really sexy hair. L -l Leo. What's up, Leos? Leos are known to think of themselves as quite a celebrity. <laughs> you think you're all that, and maybe you are. You're known for your loyalty and your consistency. Your dedicated friends and lovers. You just give out that love and just bring people into you. You're such an optimist. Can I have some of that? please. You just refuse to accept failure, which is like the best trait ever. Like even in the darkest times, you're like, no, we're going to be fine. We're, we're just going to figure this out. But you can have a bit of an ego and a bit of a jealousy problem. Sometimes. Not everybody though. Very strong opinions about things that you have opinions on. <laughs> and it's not easily changed. And because of all of that, you are definitely giving me bold highlights, like money piece, bright in the front, dark in the back, impactful highlights. And these highlights can be not only blonde, but also also would be different colors, like let's say a pastel pink or a, a red. I'm thinking you have just that really edgy hair. You want those crisp lines, you want that impactful color, because wherever you go, you want people to know that you are the celebrity that you think you are. Even like a bang that's a different color than the rest of your hair, or the tips of your hair colored neon yellow, something that screams, I'm unique and I wanna stand out. You're giving layers, you're giving mullet, you're giving bob with bangs, you're giving anything with a nice crisp line and hard edges. The Virgo. Hey, you are a perfectionist at heart. You want everything just in the right order and everything placed in the right spots and then you'll be happy. But you're like a computer, dude. You can take in any kind of information all around you and just organize it. You make everything into like a clear concept. You're methodical and you're committed. You definitely love constructive criticism and sometimes other people can't really take that. But you really feed it out there and sometimes it's not received as well as you want it to be. And being a perfectionist also also comes with its downsides. It's a little bit a lot because things aren't always perfect. So when you're always chasing that, it gets a little bit too much sometimes. And you're a little bit of an overthinker. You know, your mind's always racing. It's always trying to figure out what else it can do better. And you are definitely giving me dark hair, black hair, brown hair, espresso, really overall just striking dark hair style. You're giving me an easygoing haircut, something that's longer, maybe to the sort of collarbone area. You're giving me light layering in your hair and maybe a curtain bang or maybe no bangs at all. Maybe just some face framing layers. The styling is easygoing. It's effortless. It's kind of whatever you wake up in and then kind of do a little zhushing. That's what I imagine for you. Libra, oh, you got a sense of style because you got that curious mind. You want to try everything. You want to just go out there and do the most. You're also very kind and very thoughtful. You make for an excellent designer, stylist, decorator, critic. You're also a great companion. You just are really there for people. And goddamn, you're easy to get along with because you solve those conflicts like it's your job. You're like, eh, conflict? No, no problem for me. I can figure that out. I gotcha. Sometimes though, you can struggle with indecision and you just can't make up your mind. I can totally fucking relate to that. Shit. But you can also be a little bit controlling. Don't, don't get mad at me. I didn't make this up. All right. Somebody, I don't know who the fuck did, but somebody did. And you're a little self-indulgent. I don't even know why that's like a bad trait. Let's not forget to mention impatient and unreliable. A little bit. You're in there. <laughs> don't kill the messenger. With all that taken into consideration, you're definitely giving me a pastel pink. I couldn't even say anything else. It's just pastel pink. It's just 
keeps coming up in my head right now. I just see that like dusty rose, that pastel pink, that snappy color that's saying, I'm a designer. I know what the fuck I'm talking about and you should be intimidated by me just a little bit. It's giving shoulder length. It's giving layers. It's giving wolf cut sort of vibes, textured, messy style. It's feeling like you curled your hair and you shook it all out and sprayed some hairspray and dry shampoo on it and called it a day and then wore that for the next four days or five days or seven days. Like you want it to be messy and look like you don't care, but you really try very hard. Oh, is it not my favorite sign? Scorpios, where are you? <laughs> Your boy is a Scorpio, indeed. We can be quite mysterious. That is something I've been told time and time again by fucking everybody. To be honest with you, it's like actually kind of weird. This is not about me though. Once we make a decision, there's very little room for negotiation. We have decided on that and we are going with it and we're sticking with it. We're modern, we, we like fresh ideas. We wanna progress forward. And once we build trust in somebody, we are loyal for motherfucking life. There's no getting rid of us. We live that luxe life. Everything we buy needs to be top quality. We just like the finer things in life. I'm sorry, but we definitely have control issues. And when things don't go our way, it gets a little upsetting. We have that intense drive, but sometimes that leads to like self-destruction. It kind of makes us a little bit angry when we don't succeed in the ways we want to. And Scorpios, what am I going to give you? I'm going to give you a bold color, but a natural bold color. I'm thinking black or platinum. Devil and angel vibes. Like, you just need something that's gonna pack a punch, but you don't necessarily want to be the center of attention. You want to blend in, but stand out, if you will. You want that color that's gonna be like, boom, but quietly and sexily. But the haircut, you're gonna have a sharp bob, a sharp bangs, maybe even like a bowl cut or a mohawk, like something that's just giving intensity. Or then again, you can just have like a this. <laughs> or even like a sleek ponytail. It's giving me like this, like you're walking around with your ponytail, moving side to side. I see that for you. Stay sexy. Sag, Sagittarius, what's up? You're fun, you're playful, and you're philosophical. Ooh, and you are such a good storyteller. You're just imaginative. You're so entertaining and you're so creative and it just comes so naturally to you. You want to become the expert in everything. At the party, you're the one talking. You're the one meeting new people. You are born to explore. You want to see everything, feel everything, know everything. And it's sickening. But you're brutally honest and sometimes that could hurt people's feelings. Sometimes your desire to know everything and might make you, make you think you know everything and it might come off as arrogant and a little annoying. And you find it a little little bit difficult to commit to things. You're giving me like that deep plum extravagant purple. You want to make sure everybody knows that you are the creative one. You came to play no games and you want to get to know everybody in the room and you want them to get to know you and remember you based off of your hair color. And I see like a shag cut on you. I see something flowy and cool and unlike any haircut that anybody else has in the room. But maybe you also have like a deep dark root with the purple. Purple. Something that's making it look lived in and cool and fresh and modern. You're gonna style your hair, but make it look like it's not styled. You're gonna live that effortless, cool vibe forever. Capricorn, say these words with me. Visionary, leader, trailblazer. That is you. You're ambitious, you're organized, you're practical. Who can't even handle you. You love positions of power and being a leader of the group. You even absorb the responsibilities of others because you're like, I can do it all. It's fine. Just give it to me. And you have a huge heart without being overly sensitive. But sometimes you project your values onto others and it can get a little bit messy. And you have a hard time just appreciating like the goodness going on in your own life as it is. And if it doesn't matter in five years, you just can't be bothered with it today. Like, just leave me alone. You're giving me like an underlayer moment. Like there's a peekaboo going on. It's everything subtle and natural on the top, but then boom, pink underneath. Boom, we get the skunk stripe. We got something going on, but it's included with that natural hair color as well. And it's a little bit more on the subtle side, but it definitely packs a punch. You definitely have some kind of color going on there. That just shows like, I'm in power, not you. You're constantly getting haircuts. Your hair is extremely healthy, extremely shiny and beautiful, but the cut is practical. It's something that's longer, long layers, no fringe, too much of a fuss for you, but you have a little bit of face trimming going on and you get a nice gorgeous blowout that has body and movement. Aquarius, you're innovative, you're progressive, you're rebellious. You don't give a fuck. 
sometimes. You love collaboration. You love working with other people and you do it very well. But you're also free spirited and eccentric and kind of off the beaten path when it comes to your sense of style. And it's so cool. You kind of pick up unusual hobbies and uh, have a sort of non-conformist attitude towards things. You're independent, you're strong, and you're badass. If you're bored at your job though, you're kind of like, I'm done with that. <laughs> I'm just gonna move on. And you definitely overthink and it leads you to exhaustion because you just keep going and going and going and it's like, you just stop thinking for two seconds. <sighs> you are definitely giving me the color blue. Ooh, like a deep, deep blue or even like an aqua. Like something that is just boom. The color blue is the color of the ocean and the ocean can often center you. You need something that brings you back down to earth in times where you're just overdoing it. And when you look at yourself in that mirror, you see that blue, you're like, <sighs> good now. But it still gives you that rebellious feel. That sort of like, I don't give a fuck badass attitude we talked about earlier. And your haircut is giving nonconformist. It's giving anything that is out of the norm. It's giving asymmetry. It's also giving mullet and a baby bang. Something really short, really cropped, above the chin. Something that's really giving like, Yes, you can tell it's me from behind because of my haircut. The styling can be really disheveled and really crazy, or it can also go the opposite direction and be super polished and really crisp. There's no real telling with you. Me never enough. Pisces, you're always expressing your feelings. Oh boy, are you. But you're so compassionate and empathetic. You can literally adapt to any situation to get along with anybody and everybody. You're a great caregiver, you're super creative, and you are an artist. Artista. But you can be flaky and delusional. It's like a little bit of like eh, delusion. <laughs> it's a little bit of a mess. And you just become captivated by your emotions sometimes and you can't find a way out. And if another person doesn't live up to your standards and what you think of them, you can feel kind of betrayed and like, what the fuck happened, bro? You are giving me pastels of all colors. Pastel pink, pastel silver, pastel blue, lavender. Anything that is just subtle, but is really cool still. You want to show that creative side of you. It's really important for you. But you also want to show that you, uh, you're a little a bit of a sensitive one, you know? You're soft, you're sweet, and you're really in touch with your emotions. And your hair color says just that. You're not super concerned with your haircut. It's something that it just looks natural and like you didn't really do much to it. A little bit of layers, longer hair for sure. The ends of your hair are not blunt. They're almost straggly, but in like a cute way. There's no bangs. It's all long, all around your face, and there are no face forming layers. Like it is just but it is natural looking and it is really cute, especially combined with the pastel colors. And the style is whatever you woke up with, with a little bit of help. Like you're putting a little bit of styling effort in on the weekends maybe, a few curls, a few waves, a little bit of crimping going on. Just something that's effortless and cool, but still embraces your natural hair. Or your hair is curly and super voluminous. Like you got those curls going in every which direction. Do you agree with what I said about your hair based off of your astrology? sign? Let me know if I got you completely wrong or if I got you completely right. Make sure you guys check out my hair care or my hair color line where you can color your hair basically every color I talked about today. Everything is linked below or you can go to xmodohair.com. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.